Hi, today we're going to be talking about electropalatography, also known as EPGs, and ultrasound visual feedback therapy. Our goals for the class include that students will be able to understand both EPGs and ultrasound visual feedback therapy. Students will also be able to describe how EPGs work to their peers and will be able to differentiate the purpose of both therapy methods and why they are needed. First, we're going to begin with ultrasound visual feedback therapy. Ultrasound biofeedback is a therapy method that utilizes an ultrasound machine and transducer during therapy to provide speakers with additional visualizations of their tongue shapes when, they re when they're reproducing sounds. This will show them what their tongue looks like when they're making sound errors so they know what it should look like versus what it should not look like. The ultrasound provides a sagittal and coronal view of the tongue. The ultrasound image makes an abstract concept concrete and uh, it's easy to visualize and show the speaker how the clinician wants to change their tongue position. What is electropalatography? Electropalatography, or EPG for short, is a technique used to monitor details of the location and timing between the tongue and hard palate, particularly during articulation and speech. A custom-made artificial palate is molded to fit each individual's mouth and fits against the speaker's hard palate. The artificial palate contains electrodes exposed to the lingual surface and is triggered by contact. The picture on the right shows the 2D display of the tongue on the iPad, the unit to plug into, and the molded palette with attached wires. Why is EPG necessary in the first place? The tongue is a very productive articulator and is responsible for covering all different sounds from the anterior dental position of the mouth all the way back to the posterior pharyngeal area. About 52% of speech sounds in different languages around the world have an articulation that involves the use and movement of the tongue. During therapy, clinicians can record their speakers by either eliciting free speech or using a set of pre-selected sentences to investigate specific combinations of speech sounds. EPG provides visualization of the correct placement of the tongue compared to the speaker's incorrect placement. The visualization of the speaker's own tongue movements is an important piece to targeting and fixing their specific speech errors. Electropalatography history also known as EPG history. EPGs were originally developed as a tool for phonetics research. However, you can now see them being used by military and academic language researchers who obtain information regarding tongue to palate contact in different languages. Early EPG devices used direct current electricity to power the moisture sensors on the mouthpieces. Over the years, this has became more custom to individuals and increased accuracy of palate manufacturing over time. Each palate is custom to the individual user and is kept in place with wire clips on the upper teeth. The wires from the palate are connected to the lingua graph unit, which is worn around the neck. The figure provided shows six tongue-to-palate contact patterns observed in normal English-speaking adults when producing lingua consonants. For example, the first figure provided shows an alveolar stop and the electrodes being shown. Those are the blue dots. Electropalatography determines tongue-to-palate contact 
by using a special artificial palate that contains 62 electrodes embedded on its lingua surface. A small electrical signal is sent which is conducted through the tongue to any touched electrodes and is activated by the humidity of the saliva on the tongue. These tongue to palate contact patterns are displayed through a 2D image on the computer screen in real time. This is the figure provided. As you can see, the blue electrodes are displayed on the computer. The effectiveness of EPG in therapy. Electropalatography has been studied in multiple populations, including children with cleft palates, Down syndrome, hearing impairment, cochlear implants, cerebral palsy, and adults with Parkinson's disease. The EPG aids the therapist in analyzing any asymmetries presented in the speaker's oral cavity and targets the different variations of that speaker's tongue patterns during speech. The effectiveness of EPG therapy will increase in the future with the creation of 3D visualization outputs as opposed to 2D that will better assist in the remediation of difficult and stubborn types of speech errors. Ultrasound Biofeedback for Therapy Ultrasound imaging provides visualization of the tongue for the clinician to explicitly cue the speaker's shape and position of tongue by drawing or marking the screen for where the change needs to occur. Research shows improved speech sound accuracy for clients, including adults with acquired apraxia, speech impairment following a glossectomy, children with articulation disorders, hearing impaired, and childhood apraxia of speech. While this form of therapy is not widely available due to the lack of accessibility to ultrasound equipment, research has still shown that short-term programs result in acquisition of more accurate motor patterns, improvement of articulation of sound errors, and results in varying levels of generalization and retention of speakers' overall speech. Now that we have reviewed the use of ultrasound biofeedback in therapy, we will look at some examples. On this slide, we have here ultrasound images of the correct and incorrect shapes of the tongue for the R and the S sounds. On the left side of this image, we have the distorted R and S sounds, and on the right side, we have the correct R and S sounds. The goal of articulation therapy is to improve the speech of people who have speech impairments. And one example of that um, is remote articulation therapy. Um, and this is when connected to a computer via USB, the lingograph is recognized as a standard webcam. This enables the lingograph to be used with Skype and other video conferencing software. This next slide, we're going to look at an example of a game. So the EPG template matching compares the user's tongue palette contact pattern with an EPG template. This is shown by a percentage and can be used to control a series of games. The percentages mean zero, there's no matches, and 100% meaning there's perfect match. So in this example that we have here on this slide, there's an 85% match between the user tongue palette contact pattern, shown in red, and the EPG template, shown in blue, for the K sound. Here is an example of a computer game for ultrasound biofeedback therapy. 
The correct pattern for the chosen articulation is drawn out on the ultrasound. This shape here, here, is, here is an example of a computer game for ultrasound biofeedback therapy. The correct pattern for the chosen articulation is drawn out on the ultrasound. This shape is programmed to be the correct shot in order to make the basket. The basketball follows the shape of the production of the sound. If the speaker misarticulates the sound, the basketball will miss the hoop, but if the sound is articulated correctly, the basketball will follow the correct tongue shape of the sound and make it through the hoop. This provides a fun, interactive way of striving for correct tongue positioning and production of the target sounds with real-time visualization of the speaker's own tongue. Here is an example of a computer game for ultrasound biofeedback therapy. The LinguaView is a free and easy to use at home software that is compatible with EPG. Some benefits of the software include being able to preview the tongue, looking at the palate contact in real time. You're able to record the tongue, which examines palate contact and audio. There's ability to play back the tongue, palate contact and audio. Also there's um, palate contact template library and palette contact template editor. You're also able to create a tongue uh, looking at palette contact videos. There is some um, anatomical or classic palettograph displays. Um, this is compatible with Windows 10, 8, 7, Vista, and XP. Also able to view this and use this tool on a desktop, laptop, and tablet. This short clip explains and gives a better picture of just how this device is used and what benefits it has for the user.